Are you thinking about moving to Huron County, but you're still not sure if it's the right move for you? I shared some of the pros of relocating to Huron County in my last video. The link is below if you need to check that out first. Now let's talk about the things you may hate, with the last one being something you really should consider. Hi, I'm Megan Prover, specializing in helping families relocate to Huron County and surrounding areas. I've been visiting Huron County my whole life, but until I moved here full time, I only got to experience all the benefits of the area. If you've already checked out my video on the pros of living in Huron County, I'm here to play devil's advocate to give you a well-rounded perspective of some of the cons. Let's dive in. Con number five is Lake Huron erosion. In my pros video, I discussed the beauty and love for the beaches, and I still stand by these statements. But with all things good, there's sometimes bad that comes along with it. In recent years, some towns in Huron County on the shores of Lake Huron have been struggling with erosion on the bluffs, such as Goderich and Bayfield. Since this video relates to moving, it's important to note that if you're buying a home or cottage around the lake, you will wanna educate yourself on the potential dangers for yourself and your biggest investment. I have more in-depth information for erosion on my website you can find here, or feel free to reach out to me and chat of your needs if you're looking for a lakefront property in Huron County. Con number four is driving distance. If you want everything within minutes proximity, think again. Huron County is a large area and many places can be minimum 10 to 30 minutes of a drive. Some towns only have one to two grocery stores, a few restaurants, if that, and a few other basic amenities. If you're looking for an array of options for shopping, groceries, or a mall, you will be headed to the cities of London, KW, or Guelph, which are a minimum one to one and a half hours away. It makes for a great day trip and may help with your shopping spree problems, but it can be inconvenient for some. Con number three is no competitive pricing. There aren't many competitors for large chain grocery stores to compete with, so grocery shopping in our small towns just sucks. Literally sucks the money out of your wallet. Living in Seaforth, I commute to Stratford most of the time to get my discounted grocery stores, and it still makes it worth the gas money to drive out there. Something to keep in mind to aid with this is visiting local farmer's markets, roadside stands throughout the summer, and preserving food in cans or your freezer for farm fresh produce all year long. Con number two is older homes. I know myself, I definitely don't consider this a con as I did grow up in an older farmhouse and now I live in a house that's over 110 years old. I do find a lot of my out of town buyers have to change their mindset around what comes with an older home. It's nothing to be scared of. It's just a few extra things to take into account for your time, budget and overall wish list. If you're looking for a move-in ready home with all the pretty fixtures and the peace of mind that most of the large home repairs won't be due for years to come, it is definitely possible to find in Huron County. Just be aware that these are old historic towns that have many older homes and new developments aren't around every corner. Con number one is the weather. As we still host beautiful hot sunny weather for beach days, our winters to put it simply can be brutal. For us locals, it's normal and not much to fuss over and can aid in some good winter fun at times. But if you're thinking of moving to Huron County to commute to the city like London, KW or Toronto daily, think again. Many major roads can get closed up here in a bad storm and you can't go very far. They can pull the plows and some roads will have over a foot of snow in them before the plows resume their work. It's also important to have a vehicle with at least all wheel drive if commuting around the county often. The lake is great to live near, but it gives us some pretty interesting weather throughout the year. All right, that wraps up some of the cons for living in Huron County. So what do you think? Could the area of Huron County be your next home? There is a community best for everyone, so let's connect and find out the one that's best for you. If you're ready to get started with your move or have specific questions you would like addressed, please reach out. For more free real estate advice and knowledge about the areas, please subscribe to get notified about new videos in the future. I'll see you again real shortly. There is a community best for everyone. No, oh, too loud. It's still too loud. Okay. Get a Tesla.